And then um, later on, they have what we call domestication of plants and animals. This occurred during the Neolithic period, during the New Stone Age. People collect plants, select the plants, select animals and bring close to their home and provide these plants and animals with um, a good optimum condition so that they can grow and later can be harvested. And the selected plant and animal species were captured by providing optimum condition for growth. This is how agriculture started. And, um, and they call this type of agriculture in the beginning subsistence agriculture. So this is character, characterized by low input and they also obtain low yield, usually intercropping, they, they plant different type of crop and they practice slash and burn and they use low external input. Yeah. Uh, they just use whatever is available within this community. And they practice what they call it shifting cultivation. They shift from one area to another area because after you plant a crop, for, set, for uh, uh, some time, the plant will deplete the nutrient and the plant cannot grow because the soil are depleted of the nutrient. So what they do, they move to another plot and grow the plants. And when this area becomes depleted of the nutrient and they move to other plot, this is what we call shifting cultivation. And the plot is abandoned when the soil is depleted of plant nutrient. So they continue uh, a nomadic type of farming. But now, uh, those has changed and we see a lot of commercial farming. This is what is the present day farming. Large scale farm with high yielding varieties, high chemicals input. There's a lot of pesticide, fertilizers are being used. Or in the case of livestock or animal production, uh, feed, concentrate in the case of livestock are being used and they employ high technologies with machineries and other technologies. And um, what are the type of agriculture that we see today, the commercial agriculture? Uh, here we have what we call plantation agriculture. Normally uh, in plantation agriculture, perennial crops are being planted like oil palm, rubber, cocoa, coconut, tea, coffee, and many of those fruit trees. And we also have horticulture, crop production. This includes production of vegetables, fruits, flowers, including organic farming, and also hydroponic, which is the soilless culture. They don't use soil. And um, the grain crops, which is very common because most of these grain crops are staple food for most people in the world, like rice, wheat, maize, barley, and oat. And another type of um, agriculture is the animal production. We have cattle, cows, we have poultry, we have goats, pigs, or swine, some of, some of the examples. And also we have aquaculture. Aqua means water, that means production of uh, species or fish uh, and prawns and many other aquatic species in the, in the uh, water, or we call it aquaculture. This is an example of a plantation crop this is oil palm, very common in, the, in Malaysia and also in Indonesia and some countries in Africa. This plant produces uh, oil and the oil is being used for cooking and also now it also can be used for biofuel or biodiesel. This is the immature uh, oil palm. Normally, uh, they, we have large acres or large areas of palm oil or oil palm being planted. 
This is um, another plantation crop. This is rubber, rubber tree, which uh, in which latex are being harvested by scraping the bark and the latex will come out and collected. And the latex is, can be converted into rubber and later being converted or being used in the manufacturing of tires and also rubber glove. This is, everybody knows it, this is rice farm. Um, and it's a staple food for most people in Asia. This is pineapple, one of the horticulture crop, also very common in the tropics. Vegetable crops, and these are vegetables, they are also classified as horticulture crops. And this is some of the fruits that you will find. And this fruit is um, it's called durian. Some people describe it, durian tastes like heaven, smells like hell. Some people like it so much, some people just cannot come close to this durian because of the smell. And this also um, colorful and very taste, tasty fruits, delicious fruit that you can find everywhere in the world. These are the products or the uh, products from agriculture. And beside animals, beside the crops, plants, we also have animal production. In this case, is the cattle farm. And these cattle are red for their meat or for beef, and also for milk, which are called dairy cattle. And also we have aquaculture, where fish are cultured or red in the water. Yeah? And at, at the right time, it will be harvested. It's a very famous fish. It's called the catfish because it has a very nice mustache. And it's a, a very popular uh, species for aquaculture production. So you see that there are a lot of different types of production system in agriculture, ranging from plant or crops to animals and also aquatic organism or aquatic like fish and also prawns and many others. So the current modern agriculture that we see today actually started in the 1960s it started uh, through what we call a green revolution. During the green revolution, uh, new technologies such as new varieties, new hybrid varieties, the use of fertilizers, the use of irrigation, the use of machineries are being introduced in agriculture. And during this time, there was a rapid or tremendous increase in agriculture productivity. And during this time, in the 60s, during the era of Green Revolution, there were a lot of food being produced until today. And um, rapid in, in the rise of mechanization. Yeah? Now we use a lot of mechanization. Uh, this is, uh, that's why we can, uh, we just require less people to be involved in agriculture. A lot of this work is being taken over by the machine. And then the, at the same time, we have high productivity. Yield has been improved tremendously. And also the quality of the product in agriculture has also increased. This is done through research and development. A lot of research is being done throughout the world, and this research has um, produced new technologies which has improved productivity and the quality. And then now we even have modern technology, like the biotechnology, precision farming, 
the use of hydroponics in agriculture. And I would, I'm very sure in the future there will be more technologies being in, introduced for improve uh, productivity and quality in agriculture. And be, beside this, although there is a big improvement through the Green Revolution, there is an increase in productivity, there is an increase in quality, but because of the use of high energy, high chemicals in the form of fertilizer and pesticide, we are being faced with environmental problems. So while we can increase our food production, we can provide more food for the people, but we are now being faced with environmental problem resulting from the introduction of this uh, technology. And now we are striving or trying to make the agriculture sector to be environment friendly, or we want to make agriculture more sustainable in order to continue uh, to supply food for our survival. So at the end of this class, I will write to pass you this message. If you ate today, thank to a farmer. Thank you very much. <laughs>